Hey everybody, it's Clay from Clay's Collections. Today we're going to do a little different video. Today I am, um, what am I doing? I am, <laughs> I don't know. I'm actually shipping out some things that I've sold on eBay. Uh, if you don't already know, I am having a 60% off almost all my items in the eBay store. Um, the things that are not 60% off are um, some of the jewelry and... What's the other thing? Something else. I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, you'll see. It'll it'll tell you if you want to look through my store. I've sold a lot of stuff over the last month, uh, and I haven't been listing things on eBay, so the store is um, slowly dwindling down, which is kind of my plan. I do plan on continuing, but it's going to be mostly smaller things um, like uh, jewelry, like I have men's cufflinks, I have a number of those left to uh, list, um, you know, and some other potential items. Oh, and if you guys, you know, my haul videos, if you guys see something you want, um, let me know and I can, I'll drop those out on eBay as well. But for the most part, I'm backing off of the eBay store, selling primarily through the Pink Elephant. And then, um, yeah, that's going to be the case. Oh, books. Books was the other thing that I'm not discounting at the moment on eBay because that's going to, again, kind of be more of my primary area. So let's take a look at what we sold today. We sold two of these. Pull them out for you. Two of these Waterford Crystal Easter Ornaments. I have three of them, so I'm going to have to figure out which one I didn't sell. Um... So yeah, but the great thing about them, they're in the original boxes, well packed, well secured, so I don't have to do other than put them in another box well secured. They will be very nicely packaged. Now, last thing is over here on this shelf, and I've actually sold several of these over the years, and that's these types of light fixtures. Um, and because, of course, 60% off, everybody's getting a great deal. This I sold for $10. I found this at the bin, so I paid $1.50 for it. So I'm still making good money on it. It's a little harder to pack and ship. So I my decision on that is going to be, do I tear it apart, pack the globe separately so it's well secure, or leave it together and ship it that way. So that will be... Something we'll have to decide as we go along, but I just had an idea because here's one of the things. <laughs> Fortunately, I had my, sorry for the moving video here, but um, my neighbors over the years would save boxes for me and hand them to me. And there was this series of them that came with light fixtures or something in them. Um, and so I've used these for fragile items. Fragile, did you catch that? Fragile <laughs> items. Uh, to pack so that might work well with this globe because I actually have another one of those under that desk so that's kind of what we sold those two items it's actually three items but two shipping oh actually I sold one other thing too I forgot that's I sold a little bandana right here so that gets to be shipped out today too um so let me show you <laughs> for those who are curious i will show you what i still have left over that i need to get rid of uh, before my lease is up in four months so i am open to any suggestions you guys have on how to move this merchandise because i have debated and i've had 15 different thoughts and haven't had a conclusion on any of them so here, I'll show you. So this is my eBay shelf. So this is all the stuff that's still on eBay. Most of that, um, especially the larger stuff, if it doesn't sell, um, you know, I'll take down. And I'll keep um, the smaller items. So that's, you know, whatever. All these boxes on this table, most of that is holiday stuff. Christmas, which I'm thinking about selling by the box, actually. Uh, same with the Halloween you know, just putting a price on the containers and letting them go as is. There are a few things under the table and the table. It's a beautiful extension table, by the way, um, that I need to sell. 
I also have all of these shipping supplies, which hopefully we will be able to dwindle down over the next few months. And ideally, it would be great to have somebody just come in and uh, buy everything, but that's probably not going to be the case. This is more of just my supplies, cleaning supplies, repair supplies, etc., etc., etc. So probably most of that I'll keep. This is more glassware items. Um, I have had a couple sales over here, you know, so people have come in. These are my uh, eBay books. Those are listed on eBay. I have lots of artwork hanging around, all of it for sale. Um, that needs to go. More items here. I'll need to get rid of the bookcases as well. There is this rack of clothing. Some of it's listed on eBay. Most of it is not. Um, more <laughs> small items. And then of course in this room, here's a bunch of books which I plan on selling through the Pink Elephant. I got a bunch of miniatures in here. And one of the thoughts I did have, honestly, is having a live sale um, and just kind of walking around. And if you guys are interested, you know, doing it that way. Although I am not um, sure how that would all work, but I'm sure we could figure that out. Other people do it all the time. Like I say, there's just a lot of stuff around here. Um... And then over here, more books, more stuff. As you can see, I've got a lot of stuff to deal with. Um, that's my book inventory that I'm using. As stuff sells, I put it out at the Pink Elephant. So, yeah, still a lot of great stuff. But just unsure how to move it. This is stuff. There's a number of quilts and wool blankets over there, as well as miscellaneous stuff. This is stuff I actually pulled from the Pink Elephant when I redid my shelves. So that's leftover merchandise. So yeah. So anyway, I hope I'm not making you too dizzy by moving it around. Now you see my dilemma with all of this stuff. I do have like this pile over here is uh, a bunch of stuff that I think um, Dustin from I'd, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Dustin from McFlippinship, which I'll link his channel down below if you haven't already go subscribe to his channel he's a full-time reseller this is all he does and he does some amazing video work um he loves the video editing which i do not so more power to him maybe i should just turn my video editing stuff over to him who knows anyway um so yeah that's what we have today short video just kind of giving you a brief update what's going on i've been super busy so i haven't been out sourcing anything we're shopping, um, and probably don't know when I will be next. Um, so, anyway, stay tuned. Catch you next time. Bye.